Hey guys, my name is Angit Bhari and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'll talk about how to edit your photos within seconds with the preset that I've launched today. There's a set of 100 master presets along with three bonus presets that I've ever used on any of my photo on Instagram that you see. And today we're going to talk about that. And the presets are running with 50% off for the first week of the launch. You can check the link in the description. And I have included all the installation guide as well, whether you want to install it in Mac or Android or desktop, Windows or maybe your iPhone. It works on all the platform that you have. And now we're going to talk about how to use these presets in this video. And even though if you're not interested in using these presets, still this video is going to be fun to watch how I edit my photos in Lightroom mobile app and so that you can learn from it and you can do something similar. I used to edit my photos in Photoshop or Lightroom desktop app and now I only use it when I have to remove certain objects that I cannot do it in Lightroom mobile app but this app is great and also one more thing in Lightroom mobile app you can just see all of the filters you know even before applying it so you will see that how your photo is going to look like even before applying the preset. Now let's go to Lightroom mobile app and let me show you how you can tweak your changes how I edit my photo photos okay let me open the Lightroom app and you can see that I have all the photos in here now let's go to any photo for example yeah let's go to this photo okay this is the edited version of the photo and let me just go ahead and see how this raw photo looks like this is how the photo looks like its temperature is uh, all bluish it's overexposed so we'll go through our presets one by one and just see that which one looks good v3 okay that's how you will go through all the presets v14 mm, this looks good too v17 this looks good too this looks good too so let's go ahead let's say if you go ahead with this preset but it's still not perfect we have done some basic changes you know the, the good thing about preset is you can just quickly edit your photos and you can go through all the preset and you can see how your photos is going to look like but always just try that if it if it still doesn't look the perfect you can just change the first thing that you will go and change is the exposure and the next thing is the temperature that you will change because you might have clicked some photos underexposed overexposed so i have created presets with the different exposures so for example for this photo let's try and change the exposure for this photo we'll go here and let's say let's increase a bit okay and the next thing that you should always do try just try to do it go for temperature just see that if it looks good or not it's like let's it was bluish right so just go to the right and try to change and see that how beautiful this looks once we uh, change the temperature it looks amazing and now we just have to make a few changes look go to light and just decrease a little bit of exp highlights and decrease the level of shadows you can change according to your taste i'm going to increase the contrast and then increase level of exposure and now it's good to go that's it and let's change the crop 4x5 for instagram and this looks good so that's how I have edited the photo. Now let's go ahead and edit some other photo. For example, let's select this one and let me first uh, crop it a bit quick so that you will be able to see uh, better. Let's do custom. Yeah. So this is the photo. I mean, this is the edited photo. Let me just go ahead and reset it. Now see that I have clicked this photo very underexposed. So now obviously I have to change the exposure. So first of all, I'll go through the presets and it will look all dark. There's nothing we can do about it. Let's uh, go ahead with the, let's say V21 okay and select this 
and it's still not perfect so we're gonna make few changes first of all we'll change the exposure and decrease the level of highlights increase the shadows now in this photo i can see that the, it does not have a blue color and i want to see that so i'll go to the colors option and i'll go to the mix and here i can see that all of the different colors now i want to increase the blue color so i'll just tap the blue color and i'll just reset it and increase a bit and increase a bit let's say decrease the luminance luminance means the brightness of the color so if i want to make a blue color a little darker and i'll decrease the luminance see that's how it changes and i want a little bit of red color as well so i'll just go to the red option and increase the saturation and i want to increase the luminance of the orange color the orange is the color of the face just increase that a bit and now change the level of more exposure now photo looks great and you can change similar way you can change any color you want for example this green color this yellow color you can change it accordingly in this mix tab so that's how you can do it now let's go ahead with the next photo for example uh, this is the edited photo let's just go ahead click reset go to adjustment this is the raw photo let's try to edit this photo this looks good the colors looks good this looks good too this looks good too oh this looks good nice i like p16 and i'll just go to the light increase exposure now i can see that this bit this photo is a little bit contrasty so i'll just reset this and i'll just increase it according to my taste and i think it looks good now let's try and edit the next photo let's say this is the photo see this is this is the raw photo so first of all let's just crop it and let's say this is the raw photo now we'll go to the preset one by one and we'll see that which one looks good like v25 it looks good this looks different ah, i like v29 okay i like v40 wow this looks good so i'll just go ahead and apply the preset that's it for example let's say if i select a random preset now let's say if I select this V4 and I hit OK and you will see that this this does not look good. So we can always go ahead and try to change that. First of all, let's go to the exposure and increase a little bit of exposure. See, now let's go ahead and change the temperature. As I told you, this looks little yellowish. I want to give this a little bit of bluish look. Yeah, this looks good and now i see that this photo is a lot more contrasty so what i'll do go ahead and, and decrease the contrast and uh, i'll go to the curve section this time with the curve i'll just try to use and see that's how i'll try a little bit of highlights the upper side of the curve is the highlight the lower side is the shadows that's what i'm trying to change you should always try and play with the different uh, things that you have in the Lightroom. I'm just trying to change, for example, this one. Let's just change it, something like this. See? Yeah, this looks good. Now I'll go ahead and uh, go to this option and decrease a level of clarity. I want to give this a soft look. And I'll decrease, I'll give a little bit of vignette.
and now if I want I can change the colors particular color for example if this green is looking too much green I'll just go ahead and make it a little bit of yellowish look see I made it to a little bit of yellow color increase this or maybe increase the saturation yeah that's all see now this is a complete different photo from our preset and that's how you have edited okay so now we're going to edit uh, this photo so let's just reset this one this is the raw photo let's go through the presets uh, we 39 we 40 we 62 we 101 no we 83 yeah this looks good so select this one and then first of all now let's uh, decrease the highlights a bit and then now change the temperature not much yeah this much looks fine and this time i'll go ahead and select the selective tool and then i'm going to use this graduated filter so see only now this area will get affected if i'll change any setting for example if i'm going to change the exposure see only this area is now getting affected increase level of contrast make it a little bit bluish yeah this looks good now select a radial filter and just draw a radial filter here and this time I'm going to change the temperature towards yellow side yeah something here and then increase a little bit of saturation yeah this looks good increase a little bit of contrast and then select another filter another radial filter and this time I'm going to increase the exposure and increase the clarity dehaze a bit and now this bluish look i need to decrease the saturation yeah this looks fine now do another graduated filter and decrease the exposure towards the downside because I want uh, the middle portion to pop up so that's why I'm making it darker see yeah now let me change uh, the tint a bit yeah this looks good and increase the overall vibrance of the photo okay now let's go to mix and change the color uh, just make it little towards this yellow side and change the blue make it a little bit darker yeah this looks perfect to me so guys see this is before this is after now let me give you some of the more example photos so let's say this is the photo this is the raw photo let's go to the presets let's go through it one by one see that which one looks good mm, this looks good oh this looks nice this looks good too see this looks good too but it's a little ex overexposed let me go through some of the more samples oh wow this looks good i like it v32 oh v38 this looks good too so as you can see that there are a lot of uh, presets which are looking good on this photo this is before and after see now i'm done with it let's go to the next photo oh let's say this is the photo this is the photo I recently added with my preset. Let me show you the original one. See, this is the raw photo. 
this is looking good too this is raw photo because i have used different lighting condition but the color of the phone is uh, not showing up so we'll go through our preset and try which one looks good this is nice Mm, this is nice too. This is good. Oh wow. This looks perfect. See, this is before, after. Done. And that's how you can quickly export the photo as well. See, you can go to the share and then click export as and then select JPEG, largest available dimensions and then quality 100% and that's it. Just click and it will export the photo for Instagram. Now let me go through some of more samples. Let's say this is the photo. I really like this photo. Let me crop it a bit so that you'll be able to see better. Yeah. Now let's select the raw version. This is the raw photo. We'll go through our preset. Mm, this looks good, but it's a little dark. We can always increase the exposure. This looks good too. I like this one. See? This is nice too. So that's how you can apply the preset. So that's all guys. I hope you have learned something from this and you will be able to edit your photos better and faster with all these presets. And I hope you create really good photos. And if you edit your photos using these presets, then don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you guys create. And with that said, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Best of luck. Bye-bye.